Can you guys please be quiet? The Chemical Guys newbie is underway. What's up, Chemical Guys and Girls? It's me, Jason, the Chemical Guys newbie, along with Henry, the Chemical Guys expert. <laughs> In today's video, we got some ashy cars. <laughs> I took a sneak peek of the car. It's a Scion FRS. It's blue. It's a very lovely color. We're gonna show you how to use Glossworks, the foam cannon, and I take the one minute drying challenge. Will I complete it in a minute? You're gonna have to stick around to find out. Let's get started. He doesn't know much about detailing. He doesn't know much about detailing. He's asking lots of questions about everything so we can learn all there is about detailing. He doesn't know much about detailing. He's a chemical guy's new. He doesn't know much about detailing. He's a chemical guy's new. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm here with Henry and uh, this is phase two of the wash. If you saw the very first and second episode of the newbie series, I learned how to wash a car. We used the foam blaster, the two bucket method, the dirt traps. We learned all that stuff. We're gonna bring it back today because, Henry, tell them why. We're gonna bring it back today because a lot of people are commenting on our post, Instagram, Facebook, or even direct messaging us and asking us how do we remove ash from the surface of a vehicle. So today, Look at we this have ash. this FRS and it's covered in ash tree sap, bird dropping, it has everything. So today I'll be showing you guys and Jason how to probably remove it using a foam cannon since Jason has never used a foam cannon. That's right, last time we used a foam blaster, I've never used the cannon which connects up to the pressure washer. Correct. So we're gonna check that out. We're gonna rejuvenate the coatings that this vehicle has with Glossworks Auto Wash. So if you're not familiar with Glossworks Auto Wash, Glossworks Auto Wash is a pH balanced soap that's going to work amazing on any color vehicle whether it's silver, black, orange, purple. What's your favorite color? Cerulean. Cerulean. <laughs> it's going to bring back the shine, the reflection, and rejuvenate the coatings. So, Jason, it is time to get started. All right. We have different accessories here. You might be overwhelmed from two different wash mitts, the three-way wash mitt. Why is it called a three-way wash mitt? Because it has a chenille side, a microfiber side, and if you like going on road trips and getting bugs on your vehicle, it also has a bug side. Oh. That's why that netting is it. Three-way, baby. The three-way. And we also have the Chanel wash mitt. A lot of people is familiar with the Chanel wash mitt. It has noodle-like textures that's going to encapsulate any dirt, grime, debris. When you come back to the dirt trap or your rinse bucket, you're going to obviously have it on in your wrist. Come to the bottom of your bucket, you scrub it out, and the dirt traps, is going to suck up all the dirt grime, let it sit at the bottom and not let it rise back up. Perfect. So if you guys want more detailed information on the wash buckets, the two bucket method, the dirt traps, go back to episode two. You can check that out. We're going to kind of glide through that section, no pun intended, and uh, really focus on the Max Foam 8 Canon. The Torque. The Torque. Professional. Professional Max, Max Foam 8 Foam, foam cannon. cannon. So this foam cannon works with any pressure washer that has a minimum PSI level of 800. So you have electric pressure washer, you could use it. Okay. If you have a gas pressure washer, you could use it. As long as your pressure washer has a minimum PSI level of 800, you're good to go. Also, the Torque Professional Maximum 8 foam cannon supplies this adjustable fan. So if you're working on big, large trucks, you just open up the fan or close it, and it, that's what controls the wide span of the foam. Okay. So, so that... you have a lifted truck, you can use it wide. You got a smaller car like a FRS, you can use it a little bit more narrow to so get onto hard to reach areas. If you want to shoot a stream, just close it all the way and you're shooting a stream. It also features the quick release that works with all universal pressure washers. And up top, this knob also controls how much foam is producing. Nice. If you want least amount of foam, more water, twist it all to the left. If you want max foam, twist it all the way to right until it gets tight. I'm pretty sure we want max foam right to get tight. We want the max foam possible. We want to blast this car with foam. Also, because there's ash all on top of it, um, probably the foamier the better, right? Because you want to lubricate it and make sure that you're not rubbing those particles on the paint. That is correct. You see, you're onto okay. something, but you're also off to something. Uh -oh. You're onto something, but then you're also missing the other side. What's the other side? So, this is just one method on how to remove ash. There's also different types of methods. You could also use a waterless wash that has a wax or sealant in it that's going to encapsulate all the dirt and grime. Whenever you glide your, wa not your wash mitt, your towel over it, you'll be rolling it. So you'll be picking up all the grime and releasing it from the surface of the vehicle without scratching. But since it's beautiful outside, Jason wants to have fun with the foam cannon. That's right. He brought me outside 
Today, I'll teach them how to lather up the surface of the vehicle. It's silver, bluish, but we're gonna make this thing look white. All right, Henry, so Nick in episode two taught me a couple awesome pro tips on how to get the best foam out of my foam blaster. Okay. Best foam to be able to produce out of a foam cannon, it all starts with the water you're using. We always recommend using warm water because warm water is going to mix better with the soap. It's going to produce thicker suds. Glossworks, um, is that typically a pretty like sudsy producing foamy soap or can I mix it with something else that's foamier or like? That's a great question because a lot of people always comment on our video saying, can I mix this soap with this soap? Glossworks on its own is going to produce amazing foam. You do okay. not have to mix with any other soap. Just use it standalone because it also has gloss magnifiers and you do not want to cross it with Mr. Pink because it might throw it off. So just use one soap at a time. Do not cross it unless you are using Clean Slate. If you, you could use like Mr. Pink with Clean Slate because Clean Slate does not foam up like our traditional Chemogrise soap. All of our soap is going to produce amazing foam, but this vehicle has ceramic coating on it. So we just want to restore it, give it a nice shine. So this is why we're going with Glossworks Auto Wash. Because it's pH balanced and it won't strip it's off the, pH the balanced, coatings. It's blue. Have you ever used a pressure washer wand? Uh, a, a couple times. How, how big were they? The wands, they're yeah. they're pretty long, man. Like this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Look under the wash mitts. So under the wash mitts, I have oh. the Torx Snubby Whoa, hiding under okay. there. Okay, little Snubby. This is way shorter. So that Torx Snubby is going to is going to allow you to have full control of your detail. Okay. If you want to get super close to the vehicle, you won't be hitting it because the wand. Yeah, not no, so the big. wand. I would have slapped this in the face already with the wand if I tried to. You know, look, I got plenty of space still here. All of these accessories from buckets, dirt traps, so foam cannon, wash mitts, that Torx Mobi, or even that Camel Guys hat and that shirt, you can hop on our website right now, CamelGuys.com, and pick it up there, or stop by your local detail garage. So, all Are right, you ready to start foaming? Let's do it. All so, right, so I'm gonna let you set it all up. Okay. I'll be behind the camera. So I'm just gonna take a lucky crack at this because I feel like all of our products are fairly user friendly, right? So I Correct. should be able to kind of figure this out myself. Um, there's water in here, warm water that it looks like you already put in here. So I'm gonna just twist this guy off. So on the, if you actually look on the Torque Foam Cannon bottle, I fill it up to the 900 meter mark. Oh, okay. So there's actually, uh, little measurement numbers here so you know exactly what you're doing and you did it exactly to 900. I like to fill it up to 900 and then I add soap all the way to the 1000 mark. Okay, so now with this soap, in previous videos, any bottle I've ever g gotten has had some kind of seal on here and I always try to use it. So I'm gonna check first because I'm no longer that newbie. <laughs> and look, there's a seal. So I'm glad I didn't try to pour it this time because that happens every single time. I'm gonna remove the seal, pop this guy back on. I love that color blue, by the way. This what does is, it smell like? Oh, it smells delicious. So you're gonna add soap all the way to the 1000 mark. All the way, huh? Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna pop this in here. I'm gonna do this. Perfect, there. Right there, that was about three pumps. Three pumps. Close that. I'm gonna seal this up real quick, and, and wait, then we'll set the you buckets start up. Anything, stir it. Do not shake the bottle. Okay, that's because right. Because if you shake it, we you did can that. Cause we foam did foam inside, and we want more foam on the car, and less foam inside your bottle. We did that with the uh, foam blaster as well. So, so like a little bit like this, right? Correct. Look at the flick of the wrist. Oh yeah, look at that wrist action. But you don't want to like shake it, shake it like a shake weight. These dirt traps, I know you're supposed to insert at an angle. I learned that in video two. Um, because Why do you have two different colored dirt traps? If you're detailing so many cars at once and washing them, you might get confused at which bucket was which if you don't remember. So you can color code them to make sure one is your wash and one is your rinse or vice versa. These are going to go in at an angle to prevent uh, air bubbles from getting trapped underneath and causing them, causing to, them to rise back up. And uh, there we go. All right. So. The dirt traps are now inserted. We have a black dirt trap. We have a red dirt trap. What, which one's going to be which? I'm up to you. Which one do you want to do? You're the Camel Guys newbie. You're growing I up. I say red and blue makes purple. So let's do that. What, like two ounces? One ounce. One ounce. So this soap is highly concentrated. So you, you only need to have one ounce inside your bucket 
when you apply pressure to it, it's going to produce amazing That's it. foam. All right. So we're going to activate this bucket using this snubby and the pressure washer and uh, connect this guy after that to the pressure washer and then we're going to get foaming. So let's do a little montage of the foam.